What's going on guys? So today I am out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and we're going to take a look at this really, really cool looking Apex Nano off-grid from Coachman Travel Trailer. This thing is absolutely awesome, and if you're looking for a more reasonably priced unit that you can really take to a lot of great areas that has a great look to it and a lot of cool features, this might be the one for you. Anyways, let's take a closer look at it. Hang tight. I'll be right back. As always, let's start by taking a look at the numbers on this. So, this Apex Nano is gonna have a gross vehicle weight rating of 4,700 pounds. It's gonna have a cargo capacity of 1,042 pounds, which is pretty appropriate for the size of the unit, and a dry weight of 3,620 pounds, 22 feet, two inches long, overall length. So it's gonna have E-rated tires, and it's gonna ride on just one axle, and that axle is going to have a 4,400 pound capacity. Really cool, I love the overall look of this unit. It just looks really nice, very sporty, very off-grid capable, but you know, it's not gonna be as extreme as like a Palomino Paws or some of those, but it's definitely gonna give you a lot of really great capability for the price. Nice front windshield. We're gonna step inside of this unit, check out the inside, then come back out, and I wanna make some observations once we come back out about what you could do to this unit to really make it special. So this is a 17TH, certified green, from the TRA and it uses Asdell, which is a composite side panel. Basically uh, gives you a really, really good wall that is pretty much impenetrable to water. All right, stepping inside. Now this has a very cool floor plan because as we look towards the back, you can see, all right, it has kind of a covered area. So this is a back patio area. So this area right here is inside of the RV but you have this really cool hatch that pops up that gets you just this great cross ventilation. I mean, I can feel it really, really well. There's a good breeze coming through here just from where the front doors open to this area back here. Has some really nice seating, a lot of windows that kind of surround this space, plus a window on that hatch if you want to keep it closed. That is really cool. What do you guys think? Of course, we got some dust in here because, you know, you have the breeze blowing through here. A lot of space back here. You can fold the table up and you can bring your bikes with. You can bring other things. It doesn't have a ramp back here, so that's a limitation in terms of loading things. But for the most part, this isn't a toy hauler. So you're not going to be, you know, bringing any kind of gas-powered toys or anything. Really, you're just going to lift something up, put it inside of here. And that can also help facilitate the process of loading your RV for a trip and make that easier as well. Again, you have windows on each side. Cabinets above. More cabinets over here. You have your Jensen sound system. You have a Dometic, I believe this is a 12 volt refrigerator. Nope, this is a gas electric refrigerator. Then your freezer up top. Over here you have a two burner propane stove. Underneath it you have your microwave. Beneath it you have your furnace. Looks to be a pretty large sink in here too. So you have a huge stainless steel single basin sink, faucet above, and this has an enormous window above this area. This is really nice. You know, I make the point in a lot of videos that I'd love to see more windows in these smaller units. And that is a huge window. I love how they put that window there. Just let me step back so you can see what I'm talking about. A tremendous amount of light coming into this unit. I love it. Now this is a 2023 Apex 17TH, MSRP 42,507. Uh, but really, you wanna ignore that price because that's not what you're gonna pay in reality. 27,450 is the sale price they're asking for it. You have two glass cabinets right here. Up top, you have a General Electric or GE air conditioning unit. Then you have a vent over here. All right. Before we go in the bathroom, let's look under here. Get some nice storage under the sink. And into the bathroom. So you have another vent fan above the toilet. This is a pretty decent sized bathroom considering the fact that this is a very small unit. Very compact, lightweight unit. You have a medicine cabinet, nice storage here. You have your sink, has a, a little bit nicer faucet area right here as well, plus some storage there for toiletries and such. Some space underneath the sink. This is a plastic foot flush toilet. You have your tank monitoring right here, as well as your 
Okay, so if you wanna turn on your water heater, there's your gas, there's your electric feature, and then a 110 outlet. Here's your shower stall. It's not huge, but it's certainly not bad. This is actually the same size shower basin that we had in the, uh, the Vibe that we first had, which was like a 36 foot long unit. I do love the fact they put a surround in here. You see a lot of these lower uh, cost units, these smaller units that don't have any type of surround inside of the shower area. So it's nice to see that they put that there. Plus a shower curtain and a little rail up there. All right. We're now at the front. So you have a nice little wardrobe closet right here. Storage on the top and bottom. Well, they give you a 12 volt outlet here as well. Not sure what you would plug in there, but that's really cool to have maybe a small fan, something like that, a couple USB ports, 110 outlet. Again, more windows. So you have a huge front windshield up here, as well as smaller windows on the side. This one's a little bit bigger because it's also your exit window. But this is really, really cool. You have a lot of lighting and I love that. Plus they've given you cabinetry above the bed as well. You have your power as well as your cable connection for your TV and your backer right there. Very, very nice. And as you can see, let me close this door again. Just check out this space. Really cool, no slides, which is kind of awesome to be honest with you. And you have all of this light, you have all of this airflow, and you have all of these windows. I absolutely love it. Anyways, guys, let's step outside and see what the outside's all about. Okay, starting up front, it does not have a power front tongue jack, but that's absolutely something that is a relatively affordable and quick upgrade. It's very, very simple to put a power front tongue jack in. You have two 20 pound propane can covers. Spot for, you probably fit two batteries in there. You have all scissor style manual jacks up here that you can use for kind of leveling and stabilizing the unit. Huge pass-through storage. It just has an enormous pass-through storage. Love that. Then you have, all right, so you have some of your monitoring here. So this is gonna have solar on the roof. You have your Lippert Solid Step XF, basically extra wide step right here as well. Turning around Goodyear Wrangler tires. This has standard leaf sprung suspension on it. You have your spare under there, outside of your furnace, back of your refrigerator, 110 outlet, and then outside of your water heater, back of your refrigerator, 110 power, as well as your furnace right there. Another hatch, another great area for storage. That is really nice. You could easily fit quite a bit of stuff in there. Coming around to the back, all LED lighting. You can see this really cool hatch that's back here. Very, very nice space. You can easily climb in and out through this space as well. That is very innovative. I really, really like that. Plus, check how large that window is. That is really cool. Another hatch on this side. I'm assuming more storage. More storage on this side as well. You get a lot of storage in this unit. 30 amp connection here, cable TV connection, your city water connection, tank flush, sewer connections are down there, your low point drain as well when you want to drain your tanks out when you're done. Outside shower, spray everything off. This is going to be for your water tank for fresh water. And the other side of your pass-through storage. Really cool. I like this unit. This thing is super nice and it's got a pretty good price on it. You know, this is really cool. Again, no slide outs, has that really, really great hatch on the back. Asdell construction has a really nice overall look to it as well. This is definitely something that would look attractive behind, you know, a half ton truck. I would not put this behind anything smaller than a half ton though. And this would look really good behind maybe a larger SUV or a lighter duty half ton truck because this is definitely something that is half ton towable. You only got a 4,700 pound gross vehicle weight rating behind it. And you know, the other piece of this is that there's a lot of SUVs that have, you know, way more capability to haul something like this than you might think. So the other part you definitely wanna pay attention to is your tongue weight, how much you're transferring to the back of your tow vehicle. Make sure you have the payload capacity for the tongue weight as well as all the occupants in the truck as well. Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to the channel, give me a thumbs up, and we'll talk to you again very soon.